Hello everybody. I bet you didn't think you'd be getting three videos today, did you? When we got home from Fort Erie, because we had music on in the car, and we were out of the car trotting all over Fort Erie today in Crystal Beach. So when we get out of the car, we went upstairs to my cousin's apartment, and uh, holy moly, I just happened to put on YouTube on Tennessee Brando there, and Biden's out of the race. It was like, oh my God, is he okay? That was my first thought. Oh my God, is he okay? Well, he's okay. He's listening to everybody around him. I still, still think he could do this. I really do. My heart is breaking for him and his family. It's just sad, you know? I was really excited about him beating Trump's ass right into the friggin' ground, you know? So, I am sad that that happened. But, on the other token, they're saying they wanted more energy. Well, she's about 25 or 30 years younger than Joe is. So, there's that. Now, we have to figure out who she's going to run with. I wonder who that'll be. A lot of people are saying Pete Buttigieg. I think that would be great. But do you think the majority of the American people could handle a woman being president? A black Asian woman? And having a gay vice president? Personally, I would dance a jig from here to hell and back if that happened. That would be the most phenomenal ticket ever. Phenomenal. I'd be just giddy stupid over that one, I'm just saying. So we got that. And then they're talking about astronaut Kelly. He would be really strong on gun violence because, of course, his wife Gabby was shot in the head at a campaign event. So that would be good. He's a good man. People like him. Mm, somebody's growling over there and it's not a dog. Just saying. So there's that. And then there's guys like Shapiro. I think he'd be good. Um, Pritzker. I like him. I like Pritzker a lot. There's another woman on there that they could pick. But I don't think it's going to be a woman. Two women. Hello, how are you tonight? Good, good. Yeah, so I don't think it's going to be two women on the ticket. But I think it would be really cool. Two strong people, Buttigieg and Harris. Oh, Lord. Get the hell out of Dodge, boys. That's going to be a dynamite ticket if that's what it is. Now, the thing is, Kamala inherits all the campaign money. She inherits all the... Uh, delegates, so there's no transfer there. The paperwork's already through. She's on the ticket as candidate for president. So there's that. And then we have uh, the rest of the population down there, the R's for R's hole. So they're all out there. And they said, oh, they're going to be coming after her for vengeance. Like, when did it stop? They've been coming after her since she was running as uh, his vice president with him. Oh yeah, all the nasty stuff's going to come out and they're going to be after Kamala Harris. That shit has never stopped. They have been after her like there's no tomorrow. So that's not going to change. It's going to just depend on who she's running with. She's going to run on all the same policies. But here's the thing. Joe Biden, like everybody said, he's stepping down. He's not stepping down. He's just not going to run for re-election. He stays out his term. He's not stepping down. Um, if that was the case, Kamala would be stepping up to the podium and doing an oath and becoming the president. Then she would be, uh, come election day, November 5th, she would be the incumbent president. But Joe's going to finish his term. End of conversation on that. So Joe's going to finish that out. Now, what Joe would, oh, what I would, if I was advising him, boy, mm, 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 I would be telling Joe Biden, okay, here's your chance. You get in there and you stack that Supreme Court. 
and you don't let them get away with anything. You stack that Supreme Court and you pack as many federal and appellate judges as you can in. You just jam them all in there. Just pad the courts, just the way uh, Trump did. Go in there and just jam pack the Supreme Court. That's what you need to do. And then get rid of the filibuster. Any other thing that you try, 51 votes wins whatever the hell you're voting on. Never mind 60 votes, that's bullshit. So yeah, 51 votes would be wonderful. And the filibuster and the electoral college, that's gonna take some stuff doing it. Those seeing as the congressional households uh, slim majority, but a majority nonetheless. So we'll see how that works. Should be interesting to say the least. So there's that. But I really, in my heart of hearts, think Joe needs to pack the Supreme Court. And now, better than if Kamala gets in, just do it now. He's on his way out. He's not, gonna, he's not going for re-election, so why shouldn't he just pack the courts now and have it done? I think that would be perfect. Perfect. So, he does that. I don't know, he's passed so much legislation and passed so many bills. Like, a couple more things that people mostly are saying, well, maybe we shouldn't do that. Like, uh, let's do this democratically. You know what? Screw democratically now. The way they're playing, the Republicans and the MAGAs, throw that shit out the window. Go by the law and go by what you are allowed by law as the President of the United States to pass. That's it. He's got the power. He can nominate whoever he wants. And the Senate is owned by the Democrats. So, why not? He's not doing anything untoward. Nothing they can do. And besides, he's got immunity, right? Supreme Court said so. This judge, the judge said, yep, Robert signed off on it, gave his, his concurrence. So, yeah. Biden's got immunity to do whatever the hell he likes, as far as I'm concerned. Get it all done before November 5th. Well, actually, before January 21st, when Kamala will take the oath. So, yeah, there's that. But I'm telling you, when I heard that news, I was looking forward to seeing Tennessee Brando there and his big smiley face. And when he said that Joe's not running for re-election, it was like that. Oh, no. Yeah, I was breathless. But now we got to have strategy. And she needs, uh, Kamala needs to go to Joe now and say, is it okay for me to start campaigning on what we're going to do in the next term? I need to get out on the road and campaign as a presidential candidate and not as your vice president, unfortunately. But that's the way the rules go. Follow the damn rules. Follow the rules. Right? Just follow the rules. And no matter what happens, just go for it. So, pack the court and get as much other stuff as you can get done between now and January 21st. And I think while they're at it, I think they should pardon Michael Cohen because he went to jail for the exact same thing that Trump did and then Trump had Barr go rearrest him and used his power of office, abused his power of office, and had uh, Biden rearrested, or Cohen rearrested, because he refused to sign anything that said that he would, um, he, w he was still going to write his book and he wasn't going to give away his First Amendment speech rights. And they booked him off to prison in solitary confinement so he couldn't say anything to anybody. That's an abuse of power. And I think, uh, I think Joe Biden should pardon him. I really do. Joe Biden should pardon him. And if there was a way, well, I think if uh, Biden said, oh, he is a threat to democracy and jail him. Send him to Leavenworth. Right? Send him to Leavenworth. They have generals and admirals and everything that went to Leavenworth. But send him to friggin' Leavenworth or wherever the hell they send uh, 
top of the ticket boys. Yeah. And I can take Mike Flynn with him. Mike Flynn can change his diapers in prison for him, I'm sure. But anyway, that's my take on Joe Biden. God love you. I'm thinking about you and your family. And I just wish it wasn't so. So looking forward to seeing you going toe to toe in January on November 5th. Oh, my heart. Anyway, I Nan loves y'all. That's three down in one day. Ooh, I'm overworked, I swear. I'm overworked. Anyway, 99 loves you. Be good, be safe, and please be good to you first so you can look after somebody else. And while you're here, hit the subscribe button if you're new. Push the like. I've never said this before. There's a bell or something down there. Hit the bell so you can be notified. I don't know. Does that really work? I don't know. But anyway, I love y'all. Take care of you. Mwah.